which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Baha'sha means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Baraka Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, because that's the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in sincerity and in charity and in Baraka Hakodash and in the Holy Spirit, man, the Spirit of Truth. And, um, it's pretty much going to be a, a Lord willing, it's going to be a quick little lesson based off a little comment that a, 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 a I'm going to say a scoffer for now, but I, I personally believe it's a scoffer, you know. But, um, Neither here or there, man. We're here to edify the elect, man. And and that's what, Lord willing, I hope this video does. But um, it's from this, uh, whoever the fuck this is, Truth Seeker, right? It says, getting drunks on, uh, on your lies too. Deuteronomy 23, 7 and 8. Now, Lord willing, we're going to get into that. The elder replied, if you knew the Bible, you know that the scripture you wrote really says uh, uh, Syrian. It's supposed to say Syrian. And not Edomite when looked up in the Hebrew. That is also, and that it also says clerical error you err not knowing the scriptures and what the elder said is facts man you know you err not knowing the scriptures man because hey that scripture does not uh, supposed to say Edomite so he says prove it with scriptures I have a Hebrew Bible and it doesn't say Assyrian and if Esau is the white man who is the heathens well you want to know who a heathen is look in the mirror dog it says um the elder said check the blue letter uh, uh JPS doesn't count um, it says clerical error liar So anyway long story short You know we gonna go into this scripture man You know and break it down once again You know cause it's kinda uh, 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 Hey and if brother's looking for um, A lesson to do man hey hey just just Go into different videos man Look on the comment board man You see with all with all this madness That these these people be spewing Like 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 this guy right here truth seeker man You know with all this madness That they be spewing man hey 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 You know it's, it's so many topics that can be done, you know. But without further ado, let's get into it. This is Deuteronomy, the twenty-third chapter, and the seventh verse. And it reads, "Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou was a stranger in his land." So now, when you read that face value, you will get confused. Well, thou shalt not abhor an Edomite. That word "abhor" means to disdain and look down upon. But yet. Job said that he wouldn't even sit these devils with, with, with his dogs. So 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 that's that's a con that's a conflict right there, man. You see? But when you go into this, you will know that it's not talking about an Edomite, man. You know? So now you look at all this to say uh 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 Adamia, which supposed to be Adawamia, you know? It says Edomite, Edomites. You see it says Syria right here. Why do we got Syria right there, man? You know, you read the Strong's, a uh, uh, a uh, a patronym from H one two three C H seven two six. So why are they telling me to C H seven two six? Let's check that out. Oh, Arawamya, 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 which means what? Aramite. Syrian a clerical error for H130 which was what Adawan which was Edom man so it's a clerical error so Edomite is not supposed to be there it says what down here Strong's definition Arawamya a clerical error for H130 and Edomite you see it's supposed to say Syrian Syrian you understand so now 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 what, now what's up with the Syrians is the Syrians our brothers you know what's up with the Syrians let's find out who or, or, or that these Syrians are speaking of man this is Genesis uh, the 10th chapter it's Genesis the 10th chapter we gonna scroll down to the 21st verse it's Genesis 10 and 21. It says, Unto Shem also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, 
or Elon. They go your East Indians. And Ashur, they go your Assyrians right there. And our facts said, that's whom we come out of, that chosen line. And look, and a rum. Ooh, let's check that out. Who is a rum? A rum goes to what? Armenians, a rum, a rum, or Syria, the nation. So, a rum, or Syria, it's talking about the son of Shem, right? So how is they our brothers? How is they our brothers, man? You see? Because we come out of our fact set. You know? We come out of our fact set. So how is Aram our brother? Well, let's get into it. This is uh, Genesis 11. And, um... I'll get straight to the point. It's Genesis 11 and um, 27. It says, Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begat Lot. So we all know Lot. He was saved out of, uh, uh, out, of uh, out of destruction of Sodom. His father was Haran, which was Abram's brother. Now Abram also had another brother whose name was Nahor. Right? So Abram got two brothers, Haran and Nahor. Verse 28. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. Oh, so Haran died. So now he only has one brother, right? Verse 29. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of, uh, of Milcah and the father of Ishka. But Sarai was barren. She had no child. And, 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 and to answer your question, man, it says uh, 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 it's Esau, Edom is the white man. Who are the heathen? The heathen is anybody that don't come out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You see? If you're not a son or a daughter of Jacob, then you are counted as a heathen, man. You understand? It says, um... Um... I'm on this one. This is a uh, and 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 those those children that come out of Jacob, they can also be counted as heathens if they do what man if they forget their heritage if they leave off. Read Matthew the 18th chapter. You know, an Israelite can be counted as a heathen, man. It says um, but for the most part, the natural born heathens are anybody outside of the nation of Israel, man. Anybody outside of, of, of the twelve tribes, you see. It says, um, uh, uh, verse 30, But Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they dwelt, that's like, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. So they left from Ur, of the Chaldees, which as you can see is down here, they traveled up into the land of what? Haran, which Haran is located where? You see? In the land of Syria or Aram. You see? So, let's continue to go. Let's continue to go. So we're going to jump over to the next chapter. Genesis 12 and 1, it says, Now Yahweh has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. So, his father died. So, who was left of his father's house, man? Haran died in Ur of Chaldees, and his father Sarai died there in Haran. You see? So, who was left of his father's house that was still there? His brother Nahor. You understand? His brother Nahor was still there. It says, um, let's see if I need anything else out of this 12th chapter.
<clears throat> I'll read down to five. It says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed in his seed, man. You know? That's another lesson for another day, though. It says, So Abraham departed as Yahweh had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. So then that's when our forefather went into the land of Canaan, right? So... Now we're going to jump to the 22nd chapter. So, now let's jump to 22, Genesis 22, and started 19. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor. So now didn't we just read that? In Genesis, the uh, the 10th chapter? Or was it the 11th chapter? Salaki. Um, in Genesis, the 11th chapter, it said what? That Abram and Nahor took them wives. This is Genesis 11, 29. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah. Okay, so now we're receiving some understanding, man. What's going on here? It says, and it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath, she hath also born children unto thy brother Nahor. And where was they born? They was born where, where, where they had dwelt at, man, in Haran. You see? Because Abraham is in the land of Canaan hearing these tidings of his brother back in Haran. So, and where is Haran located? In Syria, man. You understand? It says, uh... Uh, Huz, his firstborn, and Buzz, his brother, and Kemiel, the father of Aram, and Chesed, and Hazu, and Pildash, and Jalap, and Bethuel. So these are all the sons of Nahor. Keep in mind Bethuel. Verse 23. And Bethuel begot Rebekah. These eight Milka did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother. You see? So Abraham's brother Nahor had children. He had a, he had he had a uh, he had a, 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 a son named Bethuel, and as you can see right here, in Bethuel begat Rebecca. You see, so we're gonna find out who these people are, man. So jump over to the twenty fourth chapter. Uh, in one, it says Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and Yahweh had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant. Of his house that ruled over all that he had put I pray thee thy hand under my thigh and I will make thee swear by Yahweh the power of heaven and the power of the earth that thou shall not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell but thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac so where he's going he's going to his kindred he's going to his brother Nahor man so that's what it means in Deuteronomy when it says thou shalt not abhor a Syrian. Why? Because they are our brothers, man. You see? So, um, so the servant went to go get a wife for Isaac. And who was Isaac's wife? Let's scroll down. Uh, Genesis chapter 24 and verse 15. It says, and it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold, Rebecca. Oh, did it just say over here? That Bethuel begot Rebecca, right? So let's find, okay. It says, that behold, Rebecca came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon a virgin, neither had, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. So, we're going to continue. We're going to jump through. You know, ain't going to read it all. It says, um, verse 23, And he said, And said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, 
the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor. You see? So these, these, this, this is Abraham's kindred. This is Abraham's kindred. I'm going to jump down to 29. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man unto the well. So Laban's father was who? Bethuel as well. Because this is Rebekah's brother. You see? Um, do I need anything else out of this chapter? Nope, nope, nope. So from there, jump over to the 25th chapter, right? It's 25 and 20. It says, And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian. Whoa, why did they call him the Syrian? Because that's the land he was uh, uh, dwelling in. Of Pandanaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. So that's why it says what, man? You know, thou shalt not abhor a Syrian because he is thy brother. It's talking about Laban and Bethuel Nahor. It's talking about Abraham's brother's line, man. You see, that's who it's speaking of, man. You understand? You know, and as you can see, Haran is right here. You know, the land of Syria. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Haran is, is, is in modern day Turkey. But in the ancient world, this was the land of Pandan around. Padan, which means field. That's what it says. It says it means field. And Aram is what? The son of Shem. So it's the field of Aram, man. You know? And that's why they were called uh, Syrians because they dwelt in that land, man. You see? Same thing uh, uh, when you go... Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Five. Yep. The same thing when you read this right here. This is Deuteronomy twenty-six and five. And thou shalt speak and say before Yahweh thy power, a Syrian ready to perish was my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few and became there a nation great, mighty, and populous. So who was our father that went to Egypt and became a mighty nation, man? It's talking about Jacob. Why was Jacob called a Syrian? Because he spent uh, 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 all those years in the land. He had to work for uh, 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 Rochelle. You know what I'm saying? Well, I believe it was seven years, you know, uh, 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 for Rochelle, which she wasn't the firstborn. Leah was. So Laban had gave him Leah, so he had to work a whole another seven years for Rochelle. And then he had to work another six years, if I'm not mistaken, for um um for the cattle. You know? So he so he he spent what about 20 years in in in, in uh, uh in Syria, man. You know? So this Deuteronomy 26 and 5 is speaking about our forefather Jacob. He was called a Syrian. Why? Because he dwelt in that land, the same as Laban, the same as Bethuel. You see? You know, because they stayed in Haran. You know, Abraham left from Haran and they stayed there. Hey, so Lord willing, you know, I hope that was edifying. You know, um, hope it was uh, straight and to the point. And brothers got some other uh, understanding on Deuteronomy, the 23rd chapter, you know, and also the 26th chapter as well, you know. So with that, man, you know, Tawadi uh, Yahweh uh, Basham Yahushai. For uh, uh, giving me the inspiration to, uh, uh, to do this lesson, you know. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessed salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.